Hey guys, Trisha Midi here doing a video on a Franken gun. So this is James's. Um, not the James that moved to Utah, but the other one. He lives right by Assault Airsoft. Start from the back and go to the front. First of all, we have a Crytac crane stock um, with QD sling mounts on each side. These stocks are awesome. Super easy to adjust. Just a button here to adjust it. And then also the tabs on the crane stock back plate are super, super strong. Super thick. Never seen one of these break. Um, and that's a common issue with crane stock um, backs, the back plate, they break. Now, as far as battery space, um, you don't have enough room for an 11-1 in the crane stock unless you do a nunchuck. Um, so some people do a nunchuck. You put one in each crane stock tube, one in the buffer tube, and you're good to go. You can do that stock. Um, a lot of people also choose to use stick lipos like this, just a straight up stick 11-1 and throw it inside the buffer tube. Um, you do. You might have a little bit of an issue fitting one in your stock crytac. A lot of people do it, um, but there is a fuse there, and you have to kind of bend the fuse out of the way, and those fuses can become bent, and like the the heat shrink comes off, and then the wire breaks, and then you have to you put a new fuse in, or patch the wire, or just totally cut the fuse out. Um, so that can be an issue there. This metal buffer tube got an ambi sling mount on the back there. Got a Crytac Defiance pistol grip, Crytac Mark I body. It's in pretty good shape. There's some scratches on it, but you know, that's normal. It has a Crytac straight trigger, the Mark II. Um, it's got a T1 on the top with a riser and then a sight protector that flips out of the way if you want. It also has a GMP MOTS rail. It's got key mod sections on the top, let or sorry, the bottom, left and right side, and a monolithic rail on the top. It's also got a built-in rail on the front here. Um, we got a GMP suppress suppressor. Um, the barrel goes to right here, so it's not going to suppress anything, even if you foam filled it, because uh, the barrel is literally right here. Now, if you put the barrel like right here and foamed it, 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 it could make a little bit of a difference. Um, AEG is not so much. HPA definitely. On the internal, it's got a Crytac stock hop-up, a JG bucking, and a Lonex inner barrel. I spent 20 minutes cleaning this barrel. I don't know what was on the inside of it. I don't know if it was Sugru hot material, R hot like rubber material, or maybe Teflon coating on the inside of the barrel. But I literally spent 15 minutes cleaning the inner barrel with solvent because it was that dirty. Now, as far as the internals on the gearbox, it's got g, &G shell, Crytac cylinder, Crytac cylinder head, Crytac nozzle, Crytac tappet, uh, Crytac tappet spring, Sima metal rack piston. AOE corrected um, with um, the Sima piston head, stock Crytac spring, um, also a there a freaking dog just came around the corner and barked at me. Got a doggo on the loose. All right, so back to what I was talking about in the internals. I said Crytac spring, random spring guide, SHS 1301 gears. No sector chip, um, and a ZCI high torque motor, and then a Spectre Mark I MOSFET. I think I went over everything. Sorry, the doggo distracted me. All right, so as far as programming on the BTC, it's set for two round burst on full auto, pre cocking 20 milliseconds on semi, and active braking is on high. Um, FPS shoots about 320 FPS to the point two, which is honestly perfect for indoor, and that's probably what he's going to use this. In, um, he might end up selling it. Howdy, neighbor. All right, so some of the major issues that we had with this was basically uh, the air latch would not catch the bevel gear, so I replaced the air latch, air latch spring, and bevel gear, and now everything catches so he can pre-cock. Um, also, the hop-up was not spaced properly, the hop, the barrel was super, super dirty, the bucking that was in here was for our hop. Um, it did not have a nub to actually contact the BB and spin it, um, so I put a new bucking in there. You know, everything else. Also, the brushes on the motor were too tight inside of the housing, and so it just wasn't as efficient on power, and sometimes it would stop shooting. And so I replaced the brushes, and we're good to go. All right, so I'm going to shoot this with a King Arms magazine. It's CAA licensed, but it is made by King Arms. 
got point twos in here. It holds about 140 BBs. Um, pretty cool magazine. So let's go ahead and shoot it. Semi auto first. Okay, pretty good trigger response. Um, honestly, I'm not sure why people do DSGs because the trigger response on this thing is that of a DSG. And my M ICS M4 with the BTC Chimera is the same way. My brother's with the Spectre Mark II. You can get insane trigger response with a high torque motor, high speed gear set, pre cocking, and a BTC MOSFET. Um, I don't understand why people do DSGs, like I said. Um, if you want high rate of fire, if you want over 35 rounds a second, I recommend doing HPA. Now, there's a huge stigma behind HPA, and a lot of people just don't understand it, they don't have it, or they've never used it, um, and as soon as people actually play with HPA, they understand it, because it's super reliable, and that literally the response time on the, the system is insanely quick. Um, and a lot of people, you know, you're shooting 45 rounds a second, 50 rounds a second. There are some places, some parts of the United States or other countries where people run 60 RPS, 50 RPS daily at fields, and it's allowed. Where I live, there's a lot of people that like to moan and complain. Um, when I run 45, 50 RPS, there are a lot of people that just like to complain, and it's just probably the state that I'm in. Um, I don't know. It sucks. It really does. Um, but there are other parts of the country that you can literally just run 50, 60 RPS, and the fields allow it, and people don't complain as much as, you know, say here. But again, I do understand. I you know, I have a little bit of an understanding of why people do DSGs. Um, a lot of people do it because they want high rate of fire. Uh, they like tinkering with AEGs, which is the same thing with me. I love tinkering with AEGs. Um, but I love being able to hold my trigger down for 120 rounds of my mid cap, the whole mid cap, not break a piston, my motor not warm up, all those sort of things. I really, really like HPA. Um, a lot of people do uh, DSGs because there's, the, again, the whole stigma behind HPA. Um, people can shoot really fast with an AEG and prove a point that even AEGs can shoot super, super quick, just like HPA. Um, and, you know, for instance, I'm shooting 45 RPS on my V12. Sometimes I go to 50 and I'm shooting and, you know, you know field owners or, or refs say, oh, you need to turn that down. If they saw me with an AEG doing that, they wouldn't say turn it down because it's not adjustable. Now, what a lot of people don't know is BTCs, Chimeras, Mark II, or Mark II Spectres, Mark I Spectres, all of them have rate of fire adjustment. You can actually lower the rate of fire. You can't hire it, but you can lower it, which a lot of people don't know that. And not everyone uses a BTC when building a DSG, but just, just a tip there. Um, you can lower it, but a lot of people don't know that. So um, I, I would bet you if I had a DSG and I played with it, people would not tell me to turn it down or use semi-auto instead. They wouldn't because it's an AEG. I guarantee you that. All right, so let's continue shooting. First. Semi-auto again. So trigger response is insane. Trigger pull is kind of long. I did shorten the trigger pull when I first worked on this gun, but when I got it back from him, the plastic was out, piece of plastic, so I figured maybe he didn't want it so short, so I just left it, you know, standard. So, pretty nice. You can still get it going. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's a pretty awesome gun, honestly. Um, I would definitely use it if, you know, this was my gun. Of course, I would change a few things around because I'm just not a fan of some of the externals. But that's just me. That's just uh, everybody, you know, has different tastes as far as externals. But the internals are freaking awesome. So, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you on the next video.